I think it's very important for not just for this film but for any film to completely uh, trust your director with their vision. You know, you when you're going on set, you're not going as Rohit or Polly. You're going as the characters. Because even <coughs> during the worst of times, entertainment is one thing that keeps your mind engaged in something that's not negative. You know, you don't have to think about what's really happening in the world. You just take your mind off blacks and watch a movie or watch a series. Yeah. You know, it helps you. So that's a beautiful thing. Hi everyone, I'm Rashita Sahani. Welcome to PeepingMoon.com and today we have with us these really two talented actors welcoming Rohit and Pearl for the Netflix film Ludo. Hi guys, how are you? Doing great. Uh, thank you so much for asking us. Actually, we are super excited because just in a few more days we'll get to watch the film that yeah. we've been working on for the past almost two years. So we're super excited and nervous. Rohit? Yes, thank yeah, you so much for asking. We're really well. Uh, very, very excited. Also equally nervous um, because the film is going to be our film that we've worked on for so long and so hard. It's finally going to be yours. Uh, it's going to be viewed in over 190 countries and I think it is incredible uh, that Netflix decided to kind of put this film on their platform. So very, very yeah. excited. Um, and yeah, thank you. Welcome. Okay, so tell me, I watched the trailer. Both of your pictures, it looks so intriguing to watch. I mean, I want to know more about it. So that's the impact that it leaves. You tell me, is it working on it? You know, you know I think it was, um, it was so much, it was a lot of fun to say the least because, um, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a fun question because I, I actually got this a lot from a lot of viewers, you know, who said that, Rohit, we watched the trailer, we love it and we are so excited that you're doing such a big film, you know, with such incredible talented actors. Uh, but why do you not say anything in the film? You know, why do you not say anything mm -hmm. in the trailer? Same thing was about Pearly. And, uh, you know, I just want to tell everyone that, guys, we're not mute in the film. Uh, we're just, we just happen to be in situations where we're we, not we're allowed. We're just too talented that uh, we didn't need dialogues to express our feelings. <laughs> People I didn't say that, Polly said it. I didn't say that. I'm just saying it. Polly, <laughs> Modesty has left Kochi and it has reached uh, outer space. Just, just Modesty left the room to get something to drink. We'll be back in a while when the next question <laughs> comes. <laughs> uh, no, but it was really fun because I think what happens is, you know, us as humans, when like dialogues are taken away from us to communicate, what we do is we often try to mime or, you know, mouth it. But uh, we weren't allowed to do that, you know, everything were, had to happen on the face, in the eyes and it was very challenging and very nerve wracking because, you know, you feel like Achha, lekin agar nahi perform kiya, to audience ko kuch samaj mein nahi because, you know, we're not saying anything. It's a lot easier, you know, when you have the dialogues, you can just say whatever you want to say and, you know, that gets communicated. But it doesn't happen when you don't have dialogues. So, it nerve wracking, tha, but bohut, bohut maza aaya. I think it was great fun. Such a new experience, uh, you know, to be able to express without words. It was really fun. And Dada That's used great. to help and us with the expression. Dada yeah, used to Dada help used us to, all there, were, there were times expression. when he used to literally show us how to yeah. do it. Yes. Even the most minute things for the eyes or nose, or even if it's just a straight face, he'll show us how to stand and how to look at each other. And it was very interesting. And... Uh, yeah. It was fun. Okay. And as you mentioned, he used to work you all. Did you follow uh, your director Anurag Basu's vision completely? Yes. Yeah, I think there is no other way to be very honest. Um, on we Dada's have only film, one vision. And that's Dada. Like, for everything, literally after every shot, you know, we sometimes we know that, okay, I think this shot was good. I think this wasn't good, but for me and Polly, both of us shot khatam hote, we used to not look at each other, not anywhere else, but we used to look at Dada to see and gauge his expression as to if he's liked the thing or not, because you can see on his face, you know, if he's liked it or not. But, um, I think it's very important for, not just for this film, but for any film to completely, uh, trust your director with their vision. 
you know you when you're going on set you're not going as rohit or polly you're going as the characters so i think it's very important yeah. to trust in the vision of the director and completely surrender yourself because they are directors for a reason and they'll be able to get what they need out of you so i think that's what we did the two of us and in fact everyone else you know um so yeah we fully fully trusted his vision completely trusted his um you know narrative but and just thing is, I, i've had uh, i've had experiences where there are directors who tell you what do you think the character would do and they would make us yeah. feel everything and that's a lot of pressure sometimes because when you don't know when the director has no clarity it really makes you nervous i think we were really calm and very chilled out on the set because we knew dada had a clear crystal clear picture about each and every character and uh, he knew every character by heart and that was something which was a huge relief for both of us i think uh, so because of which we didn't have to put in so much effort in when it comes to thinking we just had to act we just had to emote and we just had to feel and he would make tell us how we supposed to feel and he would tell us this is how where you came from this is how you supposed to feel yeah. and this is what you're feeling right now this is what you're going to feel next and it was it was like... okay and you know now that the trailer is out everyone's liking the characters you they have so many questions about your characters per se uh, but when you were about to sign the film or when you were offered it were you was there any fear of getting lost in the you know in the multi star film that it is because it has so many other actors as well was there fear ever there in your head i think there was most definitely uh, there was there um if i have to be completely honest i think there still is like maybe like 0.1% fear that you know maybe i'll get lost uh but i think there's one thing that i've heard from not just not just my family but also dada in particular that if you're talented your talent can't be ignored um and what you need to do is you just need to trust in what you're doing you need to believe in yourself and i think that's what we did of course when we were when i was signing i, I didn't think about this at all that oh it's a multi starer and you know i'll get lost there was just so much excitement that there was no room for apprehension but during the course of you know shooting the movie is when i started having these thoughts you know when you meet Shall actors it? on set when you perform with them while you're amazed at how good they are it you know i think it's human nature when you see someone really good you kind of start questioning your own abilities and i think that happened but i was fortunate enough to have actors like polly and pankaj sir and everyone else that you know they kept kind of drilling it in your head that you are there because you are capable you know you're there because you're good enough and um, i think that really helped yeah okay nice yeah polly what about you see i think uh, once you get into uh, a movie like this it's about making the movie a hit and uh, i i i don't see myself as polly or i don't look at rohit as rohit when i see the film i see all these beautiful characters that dada has uh, brought yeah. to life and we have yeah. just been a medium through which he's doing that that's it we're just tools in his hands and i think uh, uh, definitely the i knew the movie was see each uh, actor in this film has a huge fan base which is beautiful so the movie is going to be loved and watched by so many people because uh, all these actors are bringing together a beautiful uh, a number of fans who who watch all their films like most of the most of the actors uh, i mean i mean all the actors in this film um there are fans who watch all their films so they know mm. that if they have to choose a film like this there has to be something very special and if dada has casted these kind of uh, people from different different categories i would say like pankaj ji pankaj ji is a totally different league altogether and abhishek bachchan sir and uh, aditya and uh, sana and sanya rajkumar rao and inayat and uh, rohit and, and then comes me who has no idea what i'm doing here because this is my first mm-hmm. film and nobody knows who i am and it, it was really exciting at the same time uh, after the excitement fades off my whole focus was uh, i should do justice to this character do my best for this film that's all i had in mind yes 
Okay, that's great. And uh, Rohit, you tell me that you think that the sky is pink opened a lot more opportunities for you and it was considered as your path breaking performance to say so. Um, I'll be very honest. Uh, I was recognized uh, because of the sky is pink. Um, I was appreciated. Um, however, I it's not like there used to be certain amount of opportunities that I used to get and there's like 10,000 more opportunities now. I don't think so. And I don't think I'm deserving yet. In, I'm deserving enough yet. I need to do a lot more to expect those kind of opportunities and, you know, doors to open up for me. Um, however, I do hope that after this, um, after the series that's coming out, maybe, maybe, you know, just maybe I will get those opportunities, but whatever I have received so far, which is also plenty. Um, I'm very, very grateful for, I may not be, able to be a part of all those projects that come my way uh, for maybe creative differences for dates for whatever uh, but so i've i've been fortunate that i've been called by some incredible directors from incredible production houses or to be a part of something that they are creating something very special and uh, that's that's been a very humbling and a very reassuring kind of moment you know when i get to receive a call and when even when they ask me to come and audition for something i feel that I've done well enough to for them to even consider me to go and audition for the part. Uh, so I think that is very reassuring, very humbling. And uh, yeah, it just makes me very happy. Okay, yeah, true. And uh, Polly, you tell me your transition from you have worked in the Malayalam film industry a lot. So from there to your, your Hindi, you know, Bollywood film, how has it been? And when did you decide to make this transition? Um. I didn't decide to make any transition, to be honest. Uh, it just happened. Uh, so I was inside a show called Big Boss, which is the first Malayalam Big Boss season. So I was there for 100 days. I was the first runner up. So when I came out of that show, the first thing my dad tells me is that you've been getting calls from Anurag Basu production and it's for a film. And the shoot was happening in Bombay. so. Before going back to Kerala to meet my family after 100 days of being in the house, I went and met Dada. So you can imagine how I would have been feeling. See, being in a house totally uh, cut off from the whole world. You don't know what's happening outside and suddenly this happens. And you're wondering why they're calling you, right? Because you're not sure, you have not applied, you've never done an audition before. I've never given, I've never tried to access uh, any any anything in bollywood so i'm wondering why are they calling me and then i go to dada's uh, office and i see tani ma'am a beautiful lady and uh, i meet joita such a beautiful i mean we've we've had such a beautiful bond over the past two years and then dada walks in and he talks he talks to me about the film he just starts narrating my character and my story uh, the, just the simple plot and I'm like why is he telling me the story does he want me to really act does he want me to do an audition is he going to give me a dialogue but he didn't do any of that he said just come back tomorrow and then Ashish was there and he did uh, my uh, he's he did our costume so he took my measurements and um, I had to come back again the next day I tried out my nurse uniform and the other said good nice Chalo, I'll see you for the shoot. And I'm like, are you serious? <laughs> and then uh, it was yeah. so nice. And uh, and I'm such a huge fan of Dada's work. And I can't believe uh, I actually met him. For me, it took a lot of time for me to understand what was happening, to be honest. Even right now, I, I think it's still hitting me slowly. And uh, it's still sinking in. But I also believe that I attracted him to me because I, I keep saying this, I watch all his films again and again, especially Barfi and Jagga and uh, Gangster yeah. and all these films, Life in a Metro. And most of the songs in these movies, I keep listening to them again and again. So I think yeah. for some reason I've attracted uh, Dada into my life. It's such a beautiful way to put it across yeah. because you attract your wildest of dreams and Dada working with someone like him has been a dream. And it came true, and I've learned a lot with this experience. Uh, I, I'm sure Rohit would understand how I'm feeling about this. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. So, guys, lastly, tell me that how do you see this word clash, which was there in box office all the time, but now in OTT? Because just a day after your film, there's another film of Rajkumar, 
releasing that's called chalang and he's there in ludo also so how do you you know see this do you see is at as a clash or is it like normal because ott everyone watches i think it's a beautiful thing that we get to see uh, when you have a when you go for a buffet you have a lot of varieties of food it's a good thing you you can choose it i see i'm somebody who takes everything i love everything. this i want so everything much. on my plate well done for <laughs> yeah. me <laughs> so we have rajkumar kichdi we have rajkumar gulab jamun we have rajkumar everything so i think it's a yeah. great thing for him as an actor and it's a huge compliment because he's such a a uh, busy actor and he's gotten time to work with us and there and you know um, we have time i mean it's so we have time so we are just I mean, sitting at home so everybody has time i'm right? just i'm just waiting for a film to release but it's yeah. uh, our movie or another new film uh, i watch every film that's new yesterday my insta status was uh, can you suggest a nice movie that i can watch because we're just running out of good films and binge watching every series so it's a great thing we want more and more films to uh, release digitally online because um, it's better than brooding over things that are negative you can just keep yourself entertained and that's a beautiful job that uh, people like me and rohit and dada and actors do because even during the worst of times entertainment is one thing that keeps your mind engaged in something that's not negative you know you don't have to think about what's really happening in the world you just take your mind off relax and watch a movie or watch a series yeah. you know it helps you so it's a beautiful thing that's how i see and yeah. i think there's just there's this there's room and space for every film um i do True. not i just feel it's unfortunate when you know two films are compared or when to when when someone says that there's a clash between you know box office and this. i understand sure that is also important because you know why do we have producer but that is their job na i mean we as actors we shouldn't be thinking so we should be thinking about creative ideas you know we should be thinking we should be having creative conversations not monetary so so yes. clashes and 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 competition between two films let all that be the producers job they're brilliant at it let's just us uh, celebrate each other as actors and really like help each other kind of encourage uh help each other grow and just uh yeah see each other live their dreams i think yes okay okay that is it guys thank you so much rohit and polly for talking to me it was great chatting with you thank, thank you, you so have, much. have a happy super diwali Yes. Yeah, you are great. Thank you. Please <laughs> yeah, eat I'm lots of good food. Yeah, I'm back in my hometown, so yeah. Definitely. Amazing, okay, amazing. Too. So and have happy, fun with your family. Diwali, and have you fun. Too. Please Thank take care. So Thank much. you so much for chatting with yeah. us. Yeah, and watch Ludo well, and Twelve. Well, all, all the very best. Yeah, yeah, I will. And all the very best for the film. And Thank watch you. Ludo first, okay? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're in. Don't worry. <laughs> okay. Right. Bye. 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 Bye.